Ah, uh, this is a quick tour of my home studio. I just made some cleaning up and new arrangement of my home office. And I want to show you, because I've been telling people that I'm going to do a lot of changes on my YouTube channel. Uh, so I don't want it to be like many people when it comes to the new year. So oh, this is my year. I'm going to do a lot of things on my YouTube. But in order to do that, you have to really prepare yourself. You need to make sure that uh, you everything you are planning or you are saying you are going to do, you have to have a plan. So this is my plan. My plan starts with the new arrangement of my home office. So since 2017, when we bought this house, I started, this is my office, and I'm just putting many things. Whatever I get something, I just put it here. So it reached a point that there was no place to walk around in my home office. So I said, okay, while I was having those kind of things, I was a young YouTuber. I was just putting things without any particular purpose. So I said, now I want to arrange my studio and take this to the next level. So when I say 2022, I'm going to be doing serious YouTube and taking to the next level. I have to start by really implementing what I mean. And the purpose of showing this one is just to encourage YouTubers. Uh, you might have a smaller space, but how are you going to create that particular space for you to be able to do that? So I'm doing all these kind of things just to encourage others, uh, especially for those who make videos from home. Uh, majority of us who are in Western countries do YouTube videos from home than people, especially from Africa, who do a lot of YouTube videos from outside. So, few things I've done, I mean, obviously, number one, in my office, I've done a lot of cleaning. Uh, so, let me start showing you from here. There are so many computers, yes, I understand that. But we still work from home. Uh, so, from March 2020, uh, to today, we are still working from home. So th that is the dock station for my work. So when I'm working for my real other work, that is where I'm using. And when I come to do the uh, uh, YouTube and going live, all these kind of things, uploading, I'm using my personal laptop, which is Mac, uh, that one. And here, I've started something new on my phone. What I do, I... When I go live, I allow people to call me. So this is a number which I reveal to people. I This phone is off. It can be off for entire week. I turn it on when I'm going live. I don't go to read the messages. It's only the call when I'm on live. So that is something I've already improved on that particular area. The other things, I've bought some new different types of lights. I used to have three, four lights. So I added some more lights. But all these lights, uh, depending on the nature of the video, some they, I turn them on, some I turn them off, uh, all those kind of things. So I have those two lights. There is another one over there. It's off, but I can turn it on if you want to see. That is very, very bright. Now on this one, you see, I have two of these one. The other one is in another room. I have three of this one. One is in the other room uh, usually sometimes i can record it from another room and then i have three other on that particular side so these lights are not there specifically for recording right now but i usually turn them on and you arrange them depending on the nature of the video so some of the lights uh i have a remote here which makes sometimes to change the color this one and that one i can change the color uh, so sometimes I haven't used it for videos yet, but my plan is some of the videos I can just, oh, I want just to have uh, a little bit uh, certain type of color on that particular sense. So I can be able to do just a little bit, put a little bit of dim, uh, all those kind of things, depending on the videos I'll be recording. But when it is you are recording, you cannot, but because I'm pointing now, you can see like there is uh, something like lights. Okay, so I can do different lights, you see. So that is, so when I turn is they use the same remote, you can be able to change different colors. So depending on how I go to make the videos, 
can just put that one or just put it to uh, bright in that particular sense. Uh, I can, if I decide, I can change also those, uh, the other one I can change, but I didn't want to have too many lights with crazy different colors of that nature. Then these are brand new. Uh, you see these small squares, uh, soundproof uh, thing, small panel, whatever, soundproof. So on that side will be the side I can record. So if I want to record on that side, I remove, I, I take these lights and I rearrange in another way and that becomes the background. So the background number one, that is the background I'll be making the video. I make the video from where I'm standing. So it will be like this way you'll be able to see just a certain portion of that particular video. And at the corner is Benedict when he was young. Then the other videos I can come, I can stand, I can put my lap, my camera on that door. So if I put the camera on this door, that means I turn around, the background becomes that fake window. But usually, you can see now there is light coming there. I usually don't record during the day. I record during the night. So during the night, there is typical dark. Those lights I will move on the other side. And that one will be the background with that uh, fake background of uh, the window with a blurry background on that nature. And then there is that uh, background also. Uh, usually, you know, I, I can use this one. I can change. I usually have the other type of... Uh, uh, trees. I have another one of uh, bookshelf. I have I have so different. I have more than ten different background which I change. Uh, my my printer is just at the back there, and uh, on that top left hand corner over there, there is that is five years for my work. Uh, I've been working with one company, uh, so they gave me a five years certificate. And the other is the list of the books I've published eleven books. So those are the hard co hard uh, copies of my my books. Uh, so, and this is my lap uh, my camera I'm using, and that is the new lens I just I purchased. I made like two videos with that new lens, so I have three lenses at the moment. So this is microphone I'm using. I have that microphone for sometimes I use that microphone for the videos. But sometimes I use that is a new microphone I, I purchased, especially when I'm doing recording, screen recording. I'm using that microphone. Uh, um, I've connected it on the on the because it's USB. I find a way to connect on the USB to my camera, but I haven't been able to put a properly very good voice, or, uh, the sounding what I like. But I'm still working on that. So when I record over there, so few things I usually do because I do everything on my own. Uh, no one is behind the scene here to help me. So number one, I put uh, this one, uh, I put uh, the camera on that particular angle, depending on where I am. So I'm assuming on this particular area, let's say I'm recording and I'm using this one as background. So if I'm using this one fake background as background, so the camera has to be on that particular angle. So what I do, the chair, I move this chair from nearby the table and I move on that particular angle. So when I put that way, that means the background will have some of this I want to appear. This one when they are in the background and also some of these trees and even half of that one usually looks so beautiful. So that's what I'm planning to do. So this is what I do. I have a remote here, which that remote controls uh, that uh, uh, camera. The camera is 80D. Canon, so I turn it on. Once I turn it on, then a uh, few things I usually do. I take my, my glasses because I cannot see far to do a proper setting. So what I do, so you see that's where it is on. Uh, then you see, uh, if you look a little bit, you'll be able to see some of this microphone uh, this microphone is coming on the screen. So I have to move a little bit. The microphone is not on the screen. Uh, so we'll not be able to, so the microphone will not be able to appear on on the frame there. But the microphone is here. Uh, I usually don't put the microphone from the, from the ceiling down here because I don't want to station myself in one place. So I put on the tripod here. So it will be the same if you look like myself. I'll be on the same level myself, like when I'm talking will be the same level uh, of the video. 
So that's how it is. So I'll be on the same level. So then, after that, usual, I, I wear the glasses just to see if I can be able to see uh, the measurement. Uh, so to see, like, because I cannot see uh, that far uh, to see myself, like, in, I in the frame. So if I see, okay, now it cuts me here. So I go here, and then I just put a little bit up, just a little bit, and then I come back. So if I come back, this is perfect. It's perfect because uh, when I look myself here, it takes what I want from that angle. It takes some of those uh, small trees, uh, whatever, elephants, all those kind of things as my background. So that is my background. So like, okay, now this is the perfect shot what I want to have. But I can say, no, but it takes a little bit of this one. I say, no, this is not good. So you have to go and then I move around so that I don't want to have to see uh, the, the door to appear, this door. So in order the door not to appear, I have to move a little bit on the other side. So so it, there are, uh, is a lot of uh, changing uh, on yourself. Like where should you be able to sit? So, so I look okay. Uh, here, I'm okay, uh, but I'm not uh, completely, let's say, okay, if I sit here, I'm in the middle of that one. So, and then I have to move my microphone, which is, that is closer, so I have to put a little bit here. So you see microphone is closer to me. So then from here, I'm ready to record, I take my, uh, what? A remote and then boom hi guys how are you this is ebm and i welcome you to the ebm scholars boom that's how i record boom i record when i finish i when i'm turning this off i don't put it so up so that you cannot be able to see i take it from down here i don't know let me show you so when i'm recording i don't know if you'll be able to see myself so this uh, remote i put it a little bit down at the same time when i'm recording the I don't know if you'll be able to see. This one is not supposed to be very far away from me. So when I record, the, it will be like on the same uh, the same level, but I'm focusing there. So this is what I'm doing. When I finish, boom, tap, oh, the chairs were about to fall down. So I was just going. So that's how it is. And then that's how I record. I don't put any script when I record, so I have to read to prepare myself before I go to record. Some of the videos I have to take a longer time to read, some of the videos I don't need to read. So it's depending, but you have to prepare yourself before you go to record these videos. So thank you, thank you so much each and every one. I just wanted to say I really appreciate you for each and every one who has been very supportive of the EBM scholars. So this is what I'm planning to do, uh, just to, more, to make more videos. So for the 2020, uh, 2022, more videos will be on the green card lottery, on other ways to get a green card, on the education scholarships, on writing books, on starting and expanding on YouTube channel. So all those areas will be some of the key areas of my YouTube channel. So I've already prepared the topics. I usually write down every topic I'm planning to write, to, to, to prepare. I'm writing them down. I have over 400 topics so far already written down, ready to go, and started to record. So, the 2022 is going, be, going to be very long, uh, productive year. So, I really appreciate each and every one for your continued support. This is EPM, and this is from my home office in Belton, Missouri, United States of America. Bye-bye, everyone. Until next time.